Hello, Pat. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Okay, I'm going to walk you through those floors. Let's see if we can get started here. Here's the website I sent you, the Mirage. Um, I navigated over to one of the wood species. I'm going to just uh, click this. Right-click on the image, choose Save Image As, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop. It looks like I've already saved it there, so I'm just going to save it again. And I'm pretty much done with this. Um, don't need to use the internet anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double-click on the image. Now, my program opens it up in Microsoft Office Picture Manager. You can use many different programs to crop the picture, which I'm sure you're um, aware of. So I'm just going to take this and crop it to where I think would look best. Crop that out and crop that little uh, circle of white out there. Let's see, get right on the money like that. Seems good. There we go. I'm just going to save it. Now, the way to make this work in Chief will not work with just this sample because this edge will line up with this edge when it goes to wrap the floor, as you know, so it looks kind of funky. So the way to solve this problem is to use a program like uh, Easy123 or PaintShop Pro or Adobe Photoshop. And basically you take your sample as you have it, you copy and make a paste copy of it so you have two samples then take one of them use your canvas enlarge size and just enlarge it uh, then I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to take the image and I'm going to mirror it so now my left side matches over here and will match up with the right side of that one so I'm going to copy this one click in here move in a bit and hit the paste tool and be careful to line it up as close and as accurate as possible because that's going to be the hard part. And there I go, I think I got it. Okay, then I'm just going to take the selection of the overall of the wood there, copy and paste it, see if it looks pretty good. I think it does. I'll go File, Save As and we'll call it a JPEG. Image 9 is fine. Then I'm going to open up Chief Architect. <clears throat> Whoops, it looked like I had a question there for for that uh, picture, so I'm just going to downsize this, click Yes. That's all saved. Yes, it's all saved. Okay, let's get me back to Chief Architect. So we'll go in here and we'll draw the walls. Nice big long walls like a hallway, bowling alley, whatever we need. Okay, hit the color map. And I'm going to show you a couple things that I do right away. And that is when I want the um, wood floor to change colors, I'll use the rainbow tool. Go in here and select it. Go to the texture and bleed it. And bleed it to maybe a color I want, like a light color. So it changes the f flow of it. Or right away I'll go and hit like a real dark color. And that way, it really changes the wood floor the easiest way in Chief Architect. Using their pre-made samples, you can't really screw up because it's already done and it's done correctly. So you just adjust the color the way you want it. So let's go ahead and make ours now. I'm going to go to my library, click New, call it Flooring Dave, <clears throat> hit the spray can again, find flooring Dave and then there's other ways to do this but I like to do it this way hit that material one go to texture hit browse going to go to image 9 we're going to set material using existing color I'm not going to mess with the scale just yet because we want to make it as fun as possible <laughs> so I've got this color going I've got the texture going I'm just going to say OK and I'm going to use this color right on the wood and then I can manipulate it here. And let's say bring that up to 80. And bada boom, there's my floor. All patterned correctly, hopefully, with no extra lines in it. And you see I'm getting inside that uh, ceiling, which kind of sucks. Let's back it up and look this way. Make sure we're all good. Yep. And sure enough, if you want to take that rainbow tool and bleed the color some more, it's no problem because then you can change it to maybe something that you were after in the first place. And that's been Messing with Wood Floors here at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for your question, Pat, and talk to you soon.